there was an apocalypse on Earth, and only four geniuses remained to save civilization. They built a colony in space to save humanity, but there was an apocalypse in space, too. Oh, no. Should I sit down with these guys? I'm going to try to sit down with these guys. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Guys, don't hide. Don't hide. I put you in the thumbnail. You have to look. <laughs> Can we get Henzo? We got to get Henzo because we, we're going to need it. I got to decide which one of these guys to eat because we're going to be very, very low on food rations pretty soon. Right, guys? I don't know how I'm, okay. I don't know how I'm going to play. Take it. Take it. Ah, uh, oh, yes. Okay. Today. There we go. Today we are playing 60 parsecs. And if you don't know what 60 parsecs is, well, we inhabited Earth, and it was great, except there was an apocalypse. And now uh, the smartest of us are in space, and um, there has been another apocalypse. So we're going to have to try to survive in it. This game is very similar to 60 seconds. However, it's, it's a lot harder. I think that they designed this game um, really trying to make it so that y winning is not easy. I really feel like in 60 seconds winning was easy. In this, in the Voyager, it's not so easy. Now you can pick a captain in this one, unlike the other one where you could pick Ted or later Dolores. And so we've got Baby Bronco here. He's an adult man, but a very simple-minded one. Now, as you can see here, he's very, very strong. He's got a star by strength, so he's very strong, but he has no intelligence and very little agility. So I'm going to try to get this guy to come on the, uh, the, old, the old ship with me because we need strength, but I don't know about him being a captain. Emmett Mills here is very intelligent. Does anyone have a star for intelligence? No. No. This guy looks... <laughs> Tom Thompson looks a little bit funny. Um, Dee Dee Dawkins, this is the first girl I chose, and I didn't realize that she's not very intelligent, and I made her give, like, an intelligent speech, and it didn't work out very well. So I think we're going to go with Emmett, because he's very intelligent, and we're going to try our very best to get Baby Bronco on the ship, and Megan, what are you good for, Megan? Megan spent her whole life caring for a family laundry business and her own busy household. After retiring and giving the venue to her children, Megan craves a new purpose and new challenges. She doesn't, she doesn't expect much from that wacky Astro Citizen program she signed up for on a whim, but life might still have some surprises in store for her. Her goal is to keep the crew alive for 30 days. Oh, so you can also see how to win. Wait, so what's Emmett's goal? Make five successful intelligence attribute decisions. I feel like staying alive for 30 days is probably the easiest thing to do here. Uh, what do you guys think? Who, who should we go with? Should we go with Emmett, Baby, or Megan? I, I don't really want these two other guys because I don't really see anything special about them. And like, oh, send five successful expeditions on a strange new world. I feel like every, I feel like every captain has a different difficulty. Maybe th surviving for 30 days is like what we want to do. And then I can try to get both Emmett and Baby. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. This is what we're doing. Megan, blast off. Pulling up the sleeves. We're surviving this apocalypse. Where's my cats? I need my cats. I need my moral. I need my moral goodness. Yes, everyone, I'm seeing a lot of Megan here. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm nervous. Okay. She's already huffing and puffing, so I have a little while to scope this out. This cat doesn't like me. Okay, med kit here, very, very important. Actually, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna take the med kit in here as the first thing I get because it's super important. Hi, cat. Okay. These are two very, very important things that we just got here. I don't know if I'm gonna go back. Um, we need these thingies, supplies, so that we can craft. You guys are gonna see a little bit of that later. You, I don't want you. Please, 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 please. You, st oh. Emmett, I need you, Emmett. Okay, and we're gonna get two soups because in this game, instead of like them splitting cans of soup like a nice family, each person takes one soup. So it's just, it's not as nice. I think times aren't as cute as they used to be. Okay, rocks, these are very important. You will see in a little bit. I'm gonna take the statue, even though I don't really know what it does yet. And, uh, hopefully this will be we're gonna grab a baby and we oh we can't get the gun i'm gonna get the soup ah, okay we have a lot of crafting things hopefully we're gonna survive oh we can survive for 30 days i'm gonna 
see if I can get this one suit. Please. No. 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 No, no, we're running out of time! <laughs> oh! Okay. We're blasting off. Oh, I love that 60 parsecs isn't quite like 60 seconds. It, the animation is a little bit different. I'd really like to know what you guys think about the new animation. I kind of miss how it was like a little bit more 3D in the first one, but they really took their time for this one. So we're in for an intergalactic adventure. Mm. All right, here we are. This is our crew. This is exactly what we wanted. <gasps> we have so much soup, med kit, Weird golden statue with an udder. I'm gonna see if I can click on it. I can't. There's two computers here, but right now both of them are offline. They will become relevant to us later. And this is the star log. This is the computer that basically tells us what to do. Uh, well, I mean, both of these computers do, but this one kind of like gives you the updates similar to 60 seconds. So as you can see here, this is really long and I don't wanna bore you guys to death. So I'm gonna give you guys summaries of everything. I'm gonna try to read as fast as I can. Um, we have two, we got two soups out of this, which is really great. Um, we're 60 parsecs from Earth. This is kind of like the play on words. And we need to find a safe place to land. Okay, so we've got an emergency food supply and uh, we need to ration our food. There's three of us. That This is only, I think, 15 days of living, which is actually half of what Megan's main goal is. So she's a tough girl. Baby is just, um, <laughs> baby is very shy. Even though he's very strong, he's very, very shy. Uh -huh. And Emmett is smart. Yes. Okay, so mm -hmm. you, we need to figure out, we, I need to figure out what Megan is here. She's clever. She's flexible and she's average strength. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is give a speech to the crew to decide what their morale is going to be. Are we going to give them a speech of agility, a speech of intelligence, or a speech of strength? Now, I see two ticks in intelligence here, and she's got, Megan's got two ticks of intelligence, so I can only assume that she is fit to give an intelligence speech. Right? The crew is eyeing you anxiously. Time to show your true, the time to show your true colors is now. So hopefully, I don't make a complete, you know, you know, bum of myself. <laughs> She's trying to watch her language by the by the end of this playthrough. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna notice that I'm not very good at that. So we're not feeding our. This is, we're gonna play just like 60 seconds. We're gonna eat once every five days. For some reason, water is not relevant in this game, which I don't really understand. But you know what? We're going with it. A clever speech sounded like a great idea, but that only works if you're witty enough, which I'm not. Really? If your intention was to distress or absolutely horrify your crew, then you've made it, Captain. Okay, so we have already, we're off to an absolutely horrible start. They're visibly upset. I think I registered someone talking about jumping out of the airlock, what? How is water not relevant? I don't know, I don't know. Um, the crafting module is now active. Okay, so crafting is gonna become one of the most important things we can do. We can use it to craft, recycle, and repair our supplies, as well as upgrade items and shuttle systems. I'm gonna show you guys the upgrading thing. So we can craft currently three things right now. Do we have duct tape? We don't. I think we should get some, or should we craft a communicator? We have one. It's good to preemptively craft things that you don't have because you might need it. The duct tape and the lighter are very good. Oh no, I didn't bring the book. Oh no. That's really bad. That's like forgetting That's like forgetting the Boy Scout book in 60 seconds. That is really bad. Um I'm going to do how much how much rock do I have? 20. That's pretty low. Um, I'm gonna craft some tape anyway. Okay, and then we're just gonna take a look at everything else. These are all the things we can recycle. I really don't wanna give up any of these things right now. You start recycling when you're feeling a little bit uh, desperate, <laughs> and I don't feel desperate yet. We can't, we don't have the resources to upgrade yet. We need battery for that. Okay, so we're crafting duct tape. Yes, we are, wait. We're crafting duct tape, yes we are. 
We're checking this thing. See, we already have something that either needs the shovel or the lighter. Space travel can be dull, but there are still tons of ways to make your own fun. Trust me, I live in a computer. Let's design a game. Your game will need a core mechanic, which could revolve around an item. Get creative. What kind of game will you design? Maybe the shovel? A shovel game? What do you mean? I don't understand what this means. I'm a little, I'm a little nervous with this, but I don't want to accidentally light us on fire. Um, I feel like the shovel is probably the least breakable thing. Also, if you upgrade your supplies, I feel like they're less likely to break. Well, this game just came out today. We're all still learning together. I guess we're gonna do that. Sometimes with this computer, it's better to do nothing. Maybe I should do nothing. What if I break the computer? Hmm. But what if using the shovel keeps me sane? If life get gives you lemons, use a shovel to make a game. Right? Right? Right, Megan? Oh, okay. I'm gonna commit the shovel to this thing, and it's committed. Uh, this is 60 parsecs. This is an apocalypse survival game in space. We crafted some duct tape. We have some now. This is very useful. We're gonna need it in the future, hopefully. If not, we can recycle it or use it. We can recycle it and use it to craft other things that we may need. It's only day three, so nobody's gonna eat yet. You designed your game around the shovel. The core mechanic of your game was tag. You being the captain, you were always it. You chased the rest of the crew around the shuttle, trying to smack them in the head. <gasps> You played until no one wanted to play with you anymore. Still, the mood on the shuttle lightened. Okay, I thought somebody was gonna get hurt. I'm really happy nobody did. The mood is lightened. Maybe everybody's forgiven me now, despite me giving my horrible speech. We're gonna make a decision now. We found a small metal box in one of the compartments labeled to cert, do open. That's a little uh, convoluted. You could take apart the lock and gather some elements from it, ignoring what's inside. Or you could try to open it, which would require deft fingers. Hi, cat. What are you doing? Ah! Don't scratch me. I'm so scared. Okay, no, just put them, just put them on my. I want to wear them like a scarf. Uh, 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 I'm afraid of cats. Ah! <laughs> okay, no, no. Try. Is that Capo or Henzo? That's Henzo. You don't do that kind of stuff with Henzo. Capo's the chill cat. Um. Are we gonna use our intelligence or our agility? Now, as far as I know, none of these guys are particularly <laughs> agile. So I'm gonna go with intelligence, but when I gave an intelligence speech, it didn't work out. Um, he's not fast at all. He's not very fast. I'm gonna take one. I need a little reminder. Okay, wait. Can I only see my, okay. Flexible. Okay, so we're, we've got two flexible people here. Um, I wish that strength was a thing because I brought baby. Uh, I'm gonna go for intelligence or agility. Two of us are agile, I'm gonna go for agility. And we're gonna see if there's anything that we can craft or recycle today, okay? No? We can craft soup, we have a lot of soup. I'm gonna wait. We can craft a communicator, we already have one. Uh, I'm not gonna craft yet. No, I'm good. I'm good. We're going to day five, the first day that everyone's eating. Does my hair look pink to you? It's supposed to be red. Okay. You opened the metal box we found on board, and a timer started. The controls looked intimidating initially, but you cracked them. You succeeded with the right sequence of button presses. Okay. Inside was a strange object, some sort of artifact. Disappointed, you placed it next to the one we owned, and they simultaneously melted into a single object no i should have oh, okay entertaining but perhaps not worth all the trouble on the bright side nobody got hurt megan is okay baby is okay emmett is okay captain one of our non-critical subsystems is having a meltdown the malfunction is serious and the system won't talk to me it has to be dealt with directly if we don't do anything the breakdown will spill a brain cell atrophy the breakdown will spill a brain cell atrophy-inducing coolant into our ventilation system. In other words, you'd better improvise a solution to this crisis. Now, we don't have a communicator. Oh, so I should make one. I should definitely make one. Yeah. 
I'm making a communicator. I thought we had one right here, but you know what? I'm, that's fine. I don't think I'm gonna do anything about this. Because the med kit, I mean, if we get sick from it, then I'll use the med kit, but I, I don't want to I don't want to use it preemptively. In this game, I feel like you really can't make too many assumptions because I, I just don't know. Um, atrophy inducing coolant. That's a, I mean, either our brain cells are going to melt and we're going to get a game over or we're going to be fine. I guess we'll find out. Purple Turtles, thank you so, so much for the super chat. $50, holy crap. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'm going to get to all the super chats in one second. We're just going to see if we all died. So, how is everybody doing? I isolated the spilled coolant from the air, but you inhaled plenty of it. Odd. I don't recall any of you being so skilled in folk dancing. Even more impressive, given no music is playing. Huh, okay, so we have a phone. We're all hungry, which is great because day five is the day that we eat. Uh, it's not looking good. The spillage seriously damaged your gray matter. We should combat this immediately, so repeat after me, then walls are not made of candy. Okay, so it just says we're hungry, though, and it doesn't say we're sick. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I wish that we brought the sock puppet. I can never find the sock puppet. Captain, I am detecting a troubling buildup of metal tension. Re recommended course of action, throw an epic party. I took the liberty of inviting myself. Invite the entire crew? But of course. The more the merrier, I guess. We should invite someone new, eh, Captain? Someone you don't know. Or we could make ourselves a new companion. Yes, how do we do it? We don't have either of these things. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Oh, I should have got the mask. We got so many supplies, but we don't have a mask. And all we can craft right now is soup. That's not good. That, that Like I said, this game is very unforgiving. Hopefully we don't go insane as a result of what's going on here. Oy. I'm sweating. <laughs> Please don't end on me, game. I need you. Okay, everybody seems fine. Hey there, Captain Buzzkill. Feeling better? I bet you'd be much better off after a night of partying with your friend Astro. You're lost. Okay, so nobody... Everybody's fine. Wait, you're still hungry? I just fed you. You're hungry. You're hungry. Oh, I forgot to feed them. Oh, crap. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to ration soup to all. Oh, my goodness. I forgot to feed the crew. This is not good. Your attention is required, Captain. This is most of normal. We are registering unknown transmissions, but I cannot identify who is sending them and, more importantly, what they contain. It might be a solar flare interference or worse. Worse. <laughs> a new type of Soviet encryption. We need to decipher, the decipher these signals as soon as possible. Okay. Who do you want to put in charge of monitoring these communications? Emmett is very intelligent, so I'm- This is why we brought him. This was the game plan, so this better work. Everyone's hungry. I'm sorry I made you guys wait until day six. Hopefully we're fine now. We have to at least make it until day 10, because once we make it until day 10, we can leave. We can get out there. We can explore some- Oh, first contact. Uh-oh. Captain, you need to see this. I'm not easily excited, but this is one of the greatest moments for humanity and human AI I like. We are not alone in this universe. The signals we intercepted were finally decrypted. Okay, so aliens are talking to us right now. Other life forms. And no, not the Soviets, not the Reds. It's something we've never seen before. There seems to be a number of intelligent civilizations in this galaxy, so maybe we can reach out to these people and they can help us and it won't be horrible. We'll see. What is today's task? While doing a routine cleanup of my database, I came upon a blueprint for a device called the Flux Capacitator. If installed, it might allow us to find our way home. However, it needs to be assembled. Will you try to assemble the Flux Capacitator? What is a Flux Capacitator? I feel like I've... Capacitor? Okay, because I feel like I've heard the word capacitator before, but I've never heard the word ca capacitor. I'm going to go for yes. I mean, it's just yes or no. What if it's a trick? Why would it ask me such like an easy question? Are you guys still hungry? Still? You guys are still hungry? I need to craft some soup. Okay. Crafting some soup. I need to craft soup every day. 
I'm nervous. I'm starving. Where's my cheese plate? Okay, we got one suit because we crafted it. It's not because we ran into anything great. Uh-oh, something went terribly wrong while trying to assemble the flux capacitor. One false move caused the contraption to explode. You got injured! But thankfully you weren't teleported anywhere. No. Thank you for the cheese. Get it out. <laughs> you were badly hurt, ma'am. Uh-oh. We're gonna have to use the med kit today. We have to. When you're sick, you can't go as long without food. So we gotta fix it. Her, her leg is broken. Her nose is bleeding. If she dies because she's our captain, we get a game over. So, can't let her die. What the heck is that? Alright. I'm gonna craft more soup because I have to. And... I'm detecting a massive cylindrical object not far from here. It's alien in origin. No life forms, but there could still be supplies. How will you scavenge the ruined sh the ruined ship? Agility. Agility. Right? Right, guys? You too. This guy's not very agile. Should I do strength? Should I make Baby pull his own weight for once? Look at Baby's beard! I'm gonna make Baby pull his... No, I, I can't. I, I mean, there's just... There's more of us. There's more of us who are agile, so maybe brightness, no, at agility, yeah, agility, agility, yes, come on, agility, I believe, please, we just have to, whoa, okay, everybody's starving, but we have another soup, um, you brought something back with you from the abandoned ship. Okay, so we crafted this, but you caught a parasite. We're sick again! This game is so hard! This game is like... It's like Sarbama. Again and again. Emmett is in poor health. Emmett, Emmett is starving. Baby is starving. Everyone is starving. Okay, so everyone is going to eat today. I can't, I can't let everybody not eat. We've got a lot of food left still, but we gotta get out of here. We really do. Look how skinny Baby is. He's losing all of his weight. Should I recycle something? Uh, I'm just gonna give it a minute. Okay, I'm just gonna give it a minute. You found a couple of rusted, swollen cans of soup in the darkest corner of the ship. Someone must have put them there a long time ago and then completely forgot about them. It doesn't look all that safe to eat, but then again, it's canned soup! It's supposed to last 737 years! Will you keep the cans? I mean, we have a lot of soup, but like, this is only, this is only 15 days worth and we're starving. If I, I mean, okay, listen, we're already sick. I think we need to try to do some clutch stuff right now. Because it's not looking good otherwise. And it's canned soup. It's canned soup. How bad could it be? How are you guys doing? Okay, great. The ancient soup you found gave you pause. And no wonder, it looks older than the ship and yet here it is. Who could have left it here? And again, who cares? Free soup! All right, so everybody's hungry. It is day 10. I kind of want to feed, just because we like got these two extra soups, I kind of want to feed everybody again. Hungry, hungry, hungry. I, I don't understand the patterns of how much everybody needs to eat in this game. It's, it's like, you used to be able to just feed people once every 10 days, but now everybody complains so much, but at least nobody's starving anymore. Let's read this first. Pay attention, Captain, since this is a doozy. We are approaching a celestial body that appears to be a planet. My scanners detect no life, but some structures on the surface suggest that it is it was inhabited at one point. The climate is harsh and unwelcoming, uh, unwelcoming, but even that beats being stranded in space, right? A landing can be attempted, but steering the ship will require exceptional eye-hand coordination. Since you're not exactly a brain surgeon, you will need luck on your side to succeed. Bearing that in mind, should I initiate the protocol? I think we need to get out of here. Wait, do we have a spacesuit? We do. Level one. I need to be able to upgrade the spacesuit. What do I need to upgrade the spacesuit? Rocks? Hmm, yeah, we're gonna land. We're gonna need a little luck. This could be the end for us, but Hopefully we make it. Mm, we're going through. Kind of looks like Earth. Kind of looks like Mars. 
But here we are, Mootopia. <gasps> Mootopia! We've got this thing that looks like a Moo Moo. This could be good for us. Okay. We managed to sit the shuttle down with minimal losses. Everything appears to be in order, aside from some damage to the communication console. Well, we like, we have a communicator, right? So that's fine, right? I believe it's not beyond saving, although it will take me some while to calculate the optimal way of conducting the repairs. Please remain patient, Captain. For now, take a moment to take in your surroundings. Who knows, perhaps this place will turn out to be some kind of a mootopia. Wait, did I just moo? What a weird glitch. I meant utopia, obviously. Everybody's in poor health. I'm just, I'm gonna feed everybody. I'm nervous, I have to. Interesting news, Captain. It appears that there is a hollow space behind one of the wall panels. A hidden room, maybe? A secret stash. It would be worth checking out. What's your approach to finding out what's behind the panel? We're gonna use strength. We're gonna hope, because we've been using agility and intelligence this whole time. Come on, baby. You're weak. Uh, oh. I mean, but Megan's tough, so hopefully strength won't let me down. Otherwise, Emmett, otherwise, baby's just been like drinking all of my soup and I don't need him doing that. I, I should have just brought two people. Like, I feel like since this game's a lot harder and it's one can of soup per person that maybe I should just bring two from now on. Hey, Megan looks good. He looks good too. Yesterday, I brought to your attention the hidden space behind one of the wall panels. You did your best to access it, but to no avail. We'll probably never learn what's on the other side. Great. All right. Well, that sucks. Um, the ex expedition module in the back of the cabin is now available, so we need to go outside. We really, really do. Um, where should we go? The canyon? Chance for battery. We, we need battery. We need battery to upgrade our stuff. The hazards. I don't really understand what this hazard is. Is that fire? Is that grass? Now, in the desert. Wait. There's also time length. Okay, so this would be two clocks of time. This is also two clocks, and we could get rock. But the hazard is an octopus. <laughs> what? Um, this this is a long expedition, this cave. But we can also get rock. I think it's too far away because you can get rock closer. And we're gonna need some of this. But we can also recycle. I can't get battery out of anything. So we're gonna try the canyon. Now, we have to decide who's gonna go. And I think I'm gonna send Baby. Baby's gonna be strong. Yes, he is. And Baby is gonna bring a shovel. Hey Terry, should Baby bring a shovel? Uh, yeah, I actually found out from Baby that if you bring a shovel on your expedition, you have a higher chance of taking up like more of the material that you have. Since it's a, since it's Moo Town, should I bring my Moo? Actually, it's probably not worth it. Hey, the I'm not gonna I've bring my Moo. Seen the gun protects people from like aliens and stuff. Like it says, like. Bruce encountered an alien, but he was a good shot. So hmm. That's in my head. <laughs> but what if he doesn't come back, then I'm out of gun, and I could recycle that gun. Yeah, make sure you have fed him before he heads out. Yeah, I fed him yesterday. Yeah, so he should come back. It's just grass. Yeah, it's just grass. I thought it was fire. <laughs> oh, okay, um, yes. We're sending him out. Should I feed him again? Hmm. I'm gonna feed him again. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we're getting really low on soup today. But we have no choice. All right. Oh no, we don't have either of these things. Captain, stop dancing immediately and listen. It's a crisis. You're not a sailor on Broadway. Although I must admit, you improvise beautifully. You have all been poisoned. Some kind of psychoactive toxin has found its way onto the shuttle. Okay. You may suffer permanent damage. I don't have anything, I'm sorry. I don't have anything. I don't know what to do. Emmett's gonna die. Ah! Oh my goodness, Megan scared the crap out of me. Look at her. She's insane. They're both insane. Is baby okay? 
You decided to let the toxin wear off on its own. You sang in unison about the sails of hope on the sea of progress. And it might be a good thing that in space no one can hear you scream. It ended hours later and I'm still worried. You're barely speaking to me or each other. Okay, so baby went off canyoning. Emmett still appears to be weak. Uh, the captain went bonkers and Emmett has lost his mind. He's insane. I don't know how much longer we're gonna last here. I think I need to start recycling things. Um, we might need the duct tape. We might need the fire. We might need the gun. Oh my goodness. We might need the cow. We're in Mootopia. <gasps> what about the communicator? I don't know. I don't think I have anything to recycle. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. We did, we, okay, not bring in the book? Huge, huge mistake. Huge. Humongous. Gigantic. We are playing 60 parsecs. It's just like, um, it's just like 60 seconds, but way harder, and it's in space! Yesterday started pretty slow and boring, and it stayed this way. I'm not programmed for your entertainment, Captain, so no need to count on- So don't count on me to keep you occupied. If they wanted you to have fun in the shuttle, they would have called- They would have installed the clown computerized assistant instead. Emmett is insane, Emmett is weak, and Baby is still out on an expedition. Well, I mean, Megan's tough, okay? She's hungry, though. Um, it's day 14. I'm gonna hold out till 15 to feed these two. Okay. We finally have something to use our duct tape for. Thank you. Last night, I was browsing through some designs of beautiful machines. Never you mind why. Now pay attention. I found a food dispensing machine on board. All shuffles, all shuttles in the Astro Citizen program were to be equipped with one. Ours is missing a lever. But apart from that, it seems functional. It's hardly rocket science, so should you manage to fix, so you should manage to fix it, but how? All we have is tape, so let's hope that works out for us. Please, you guys, please do not starve to death. Do not starve to death. Please do not die. Just give me one day. Don't die, please. Thank you. We found one soup. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, there's not a thing in the universe that cannot be fixed with duct tape. Yes, I'm really glad that we brought it. Now. Just a little pull, and there you go, Captain. A brand new can of soup. Unfortunately, there was only one portion inside, but don't worry, I already got rid of the remaining junk. Okay, so it wants me to craft more. I still haven't regained my sanity. Baby hasn't returned yet. You're starving, Captain! And Emmett is also starving. So I'm gonna ration some soup. And I'm gonna have to start crafting stuff. I have to. Um, these all give you, like, the stuff that you need to craft them. Oh, wait. That's a battery. Okay, so do we really need rock right now? I don't know. How do we get battery? That's what we need. We need Baby to come back. We need to be able to upgrade some stuff. Did he take the soup with him? He did, okay. Um, we have to recycle. I don't know what, hey. Chat, what do I recycle? I don't want to part with any of these things. They're really important. But I also feel, oh my goodness, I'm just gonna wait for now, I'm gonna wait. But this game kind of reminds me of StarCraft in that like you want to be farming constantly. Recycle the gun, but what if these people in Mootown are mean? I kind of want to like wait a second. I'm just gonna wait one more day and see what happens. Captain, you kept me completed as a team one day, but I like to do as if there's like a day where like you lose the lighter, then maybe when you save, then you won't have as high a chance of losing the lighter. Yeah, it's just it's just a yes or nah. So Captain just like do the, the lighter or or something like that or the gun, you just like recycle them and then build it again if you have the stuff that you need to build. I don't have anything. <laughs> well, I mean I have some things, but anyways. Captain, I found something interesting on the surface of the planet. Looks like somebody passed their time by playing a supersized version of tic-tac-toe, but never completed this particular game. The game con pieces con Okay, so this is how we get minerals. Yes, we're gonna take minerals from them. They're playing X's and O's with minerals. We need these minerals. We just ate. Hopefully, we can be sane now. Please, baby, please come back tomorrow. 
Please, baby, I'm counting on you. I'm counting on you. I went out of my way to bring you on this ship, please. Yes! Baby! Okay, so we dismantled the supersized tic-tac-toe game and we got 20 minerals. 16, we got so many minerals. Oh, we got 39 batter. Okay, you guys, we're back in the game. Unless we go way too crazy, we are back in the game. Uh, baby is really tired. It doesn't look like he's starving. Um, Emmett is weak. Emmett is hungry. Okay, it's time. Oh, shit. We gotta start crafting stuff. We gotta start upgrading stuff. Uh, crafting module? Navigation system? Or space suit? Did our space suit break? It's still there. So maybe I should maybe I should upgrade the the navigation system. Um, I need to recycle some stuff so I can get soup. I'm low. I'm low, girl. Um, we have duct tape. I'm gonna throw the. Actually, I'm gonna look at my day really quick. Okay, so we were able to detect transmissions of unknown origin. Unfortunately, the communications console has been damaged during landing, and we cannot make anything out of them, or reply for that matter. We could hardwire a primitive field communicator. I did that a long time ago. So we have the communicator. That's great. Um, we need more soup. Otherwise, nobody's going to get to eat. Um... Oh, why is this so hard? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the lighter. But I just used the duct tape. So maybe, but the but the duct tape just seems like an all-purpose thing. Uh, but I just used it. What are the chances of me using it again? I need soup. I'm 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 hungry. Okay. I'm hungry. We gotta get out of here. And we need more soup. Recycle the artifact. But we're in Moo Town, and I feel like I I feel like we need the cow because we're in Mootopia. Hello, world. What do you mean? Great success, Captain Communicator. Okay, Captain Communicator is not my name. Great success, Captain. Communicator attached to the communications console works like a charm. I won't judge the aesthetics since we can finally receive and answer transmissions. Okay, great. The crew was visibly excited by this incredible feat of engineering. They were only slightly smirking while looking at the patched communications console. Tomorrow will be great, Captain. Okay, so. We recycled the duct tape. We've got the we've got some of the bubbly. We need to craft some soup badly. Um, and we're gonna see what's up today. You need a cat? I got a cat. I that's not a cat. Oh. I need the cats. Are you sure? No. Okay. We don't we don't have an atomic battery. Um, I'd like to keep monitoring the storm's movements throughout the night, but doing so will require sensors to run on battery power. Uh, we don't have a battery. There's nothing we can do about that. Let's look at craft mode. Um, I really want to use this. I can upgrade my artifact, but like, what's that gonna do? I feel like upgrading these lessens their chances of breaking. But like, this is a heavy duty upgrade. Would you upgrade your navigation system, Terry? Uh, it gives you more options for places you can go. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. The crafting, though, is good because that means every time you craft, Will it cost less? Every, no, it'll cost the same, but you get twice as much out of whatever you... Like it really? The <gasps> so whatever you oh. build, you get the second tier of it. If you build a lighter, oh. you get the second tier of the lighter. And then you just Wait, what about food? Do I get two? Oh, well, what the heck? Any, I have to survive for 30 days! Anything you recycle, so if you build the lighter to tier two, then you oh. recycle it, then you get two, two worth of sand for the food. Oh. Okay, so the fir first order of business, we gotta get soup so we can eat. Are we starving yet? Wait, what is this? Something said damaged. Oh, this is, okay. Uh, insane, hungry, nobody is starving yet. Uh, we can't do anything there. We gotta go to the next day. Can, you guys can hear Terry right when he's talking to me. Oh my goodness. Okay. We got one can of soup. It's day 18. It's not quite day 20, but everyone is starving. 
So I'm gonna feed everyone. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. We're gonna ration food. We're officially out of food. I'm detecting an ancient structure very nearby, totally camouflaged by the surrounding landscape. It resembles a yawning face. It's a temple, a secret one. There could be a treasure inside. Which route will you take to the temple? Strength or intelligence? Now, our intelligent two are insane. So I think we should do strength. But he's, at the same time, he's weak. So this is just not, it's just not a good situation right um, we already went to the canyon. In the desert, we can get rock. Can we even send anyone? I'm gonna send Emmett. Yes. And I'm gonna give Emmett... Oh, I have to repair my shovel. Maybe I should not send Emmett until I repair my shovel. Oh, I don't have resources. I need to recycle something. <gasps> I'm gonna recycle my gun. Oh jeez, I, I I really feel like this artifact is ruining my life. There's a cat. Ooh. Uh. Anyways. Um. I don't know what to upgrade or what to do. Ah! Oh, I'm gonna do the craft. Yes. We're doing that. We're not sending somebody out today. Decision is made. We're going to the next day. We have no soup left anymore. There's a cat on my desk! But there's an octopus there? Oh, I should have sent him a gun. <gasps> oh, okay, okay. Alright, um, you chose the path through the secret temple that tested you physically, but you failed to pass this obstacle course. Okay, there's a cat on my desk. What are you doing there, cat? Please don't step on anything. Okay, so the crafting module, there's one day remaining. Um, I, I think I'm gonna wait on that, and then I'm going to send Emmett out, because he just ate. Things are looking pretty dire over here. Actually, wait, let's, let's look at this other place, too. Cave of Wonders. Rock? I mean, that sounds kind of good. But this is what we need for soup. But we have a gun. So we could fend off. We could definitely, but we need... Mm -hmm. um, I need more soup because I need to survive for 30 days. But... Uh... The potions here, it's there's a poison issue. And I, I, yeah, I don't have the mask, so I think I'm just gonna go and get some rock. And give him, and I'm gonna send Emmett, and I'm gonna send him with the gun. Go. Go, my pretty! All we can do here is use strength or intelligence. Now our intelligent people are cat. Our intelligent people are crazy. So should I do strength? Or do you think that doesn't matter? Actually, you know what? Strength hasn't been doing me any good lately, so I'm gonna do intelligence. Wait, you stumble upon something half buried under the dirt. You take a few minutes to uncover it and find that it's an, apparently a can of soup. I'm gonna use strength, right? Or do you use intelligence to get it out of there? <laughs> yeah. Wait, or leave it be and just spend some time examining it on the spot? I'm gonna use strength. Yeah, because if you use intelligence, then you're just gonna be staring at it, so... I can't have one day remaining here. Okay. of soup you found near the ship was intrigued enough that you decided to recover it. With a strong pull, you freed the container from the stony graft and found that it was just a little bit of soup inside. Great. Wonderful. Wait, you are in peak physical condition, Captain. Is that sarcasm? Okay. Oh man, but I 
I only have a little bit of battery stuff. But I haven't been using it otherwise, so I might as well. I need soup, and fast. An alien vessel is approaching. Their ship is rigged with a light show synced to the music they started blasting as soon as we opened comms. Captain, they're playing rockabilly. Rockabilly? Baby is already grooving to the beat. The aliens claim to be of the Dance Lord tribe and are searching for the best dancers in the galaxy. They've challenged our tribe to a dance off, specifically a sock hop. Oh my goodness, I didn't bring the agile characters! All I have is strength, but I'm weak! How, how are you? Agile? Vigorous. You know what? We're gonna try it. Oh boy. Oh boy! I don't like how you can only use the crafting thing once a day. Day 21. We're so close. We're gonna get there. Okay. What? You accepted the Dance Lord's challenge. They beamed you and Baby to their ship. You saw cops straight to the leader. War bop. But he, has, he was no match for your wicked footwork and synchronized snapping. Warbop acknowledged your skills and let you go with his blessing. He even refilled our supply of chemicals! I can make enough soup for me and baby to live longer! You're still in great health. Upgrade completed, you have a fancy lighter now. <gasps> soup. Wait, what is this? Armor? We have armor? We can make a mask? Oh, can I make two things? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna start with soup. And then we're gonna keep going. Captain, don't alert baby, but something got the drop on you. It appears to be some kind of droid. It just activated. A webbed sack on its back carries flotsam, metal scrap, bits of plants, and other oddities, including something which looks like a skull. It's extending its grip to open the airlock. Shall I secure the outer airlock and deny the robot entry? A robot is trying to get into our shuttle right now. Should we secure the airlock door and deny it entry? Or should we try to be friends with this robot? What do you think? This game is going to hurt your brain. It, my brain hurts so bad. <laughs> um. Uh. Yes. I, I mean, I feel like maybe this guy could have, like, you know, taken me away or something. But. It's fine. Hello? Oh, oh my goodness, that took forever. Lost in translation, what is going on? Okay, we got one soup. The creepy doid droid banged on the hull for a bit. Then binocular lenses flaring, it leaned back on its satchel of horrors, extended those tiny crooked arms and began pushing against the door with incredible force. Okay, the bot gave up, but we need to eat. You're starving and baby is starving. I need to craft another soup ASAP because right now only the captain can eat. And we don't have a Boy Scout book, so that sucks. We can't decode the message. I wonder if Emmett's gonna come back. I'm really worried. Uh, Emmett was sent out on a voyage. And I'm really nervous about it. I'm sweating. Okay. I'm hungry, that's okay. Baby is in poor health. Mm. I'm gonna feed baby, I have to. And I'm going to recycle my fancy lighter for 20. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's two more soups. That is two more soups right there. What are the odds? Baby spotted an Astro Citizen emergency cargo crate lying nearby. I had to check. The odds are infinitesimally small. Unfortunately, it is empty. But for a syringe of slarp, standard issue liquid for a Astro Citizen rejuvenation and holistic improvement, don't ask me about the capitalized P, who should use the syringe? Obviously the captain. She's insane. If it cures her insanity, I will be so happy. I'm not sure if it will. But hey, do we believe in holistic medicine? We're gonna have to. Oh boy. Day 24. We only have a few more days to go and Emmett's back! 
How are you feeling today, Captain? Much better, apparently, after you injected yourself with that syringe. Yes, the intravenous roulette played off. <gasps> Your base mental and physical abilities were improved for the time being. Well, I mean, why am I still wearing my shoes on my arms? Okay, so Emmett is back. He's starving. He was attacked by a vindicator. Vindicator. Um, we have enough soup for two more people. And we've got 24 rocks. So I need to craft some soup right about now. Oh wait, I need- I should probably make a battery, hey? They asked me for one of these a little while ago, but I can only make one thing at a time. I'm gonna prioritize food first because I really just want to live. I really want to repair stuff too, I wish I could. I wish I could. I have a bug, Captain. I don't know who modified my code, but the sequence, but the consequences could be devastating. You need to open up my panel and perform an emergency fix. How will you approach the surgery? She's vigorous, so maybe, I mean, last time I did agility while she was feeling vigorous, it seemed to work. Her intelligence isn't dependable right now because she's insane. I'm nervous. Day 25. Five days left. Your nimble fingers quickly opened my back panel and went to work hun hunting down or replacing the problematic processor. I lost a few minutes of short-term memory, memory, but I feel okay. Okay, so it worked. Using agility worked. We're gonna use another soup. I feel like letting Emmett die is kind of the play right now. Oh no, my girl is starving. I gotta keep her up. I gotta keep her up, guys. I'm sorry. Oh boy. And I need more soup. I need more soup. Captain, it appears the species who lived here in ancient times worshipped a cow deity. Bovine icon iconography. Iconography is everywhere, including their fitness equipment. Take this weird machine the crew discovered outside of the shuttle, for example. The Meandertron 5000 mimics a cow's behavior. You turn it on and it meanders aimlessly, sitting, walking in circles, joining groups of other Meandertrons. Okay, it has some benefit to using this thing. Will you have someone try it so we can find out? Emmett is on his way out the door, so we're gonna try him. There we go. We can only bring in one can of soup at a time and it's just so dire right now. Day 26. Emmett has passed. We have one soup. Emmett perished due to starvation. You tested Emmett's fitness by having him use the Meand Meandertron 5000. The results were not great. Okay, so he was he was on his way out anyway. Um, the benefits of using this device only come after sticking through the entire workout, and Emmett didn't. Oh, um, maybe I should have put somebody stronger on the device. So we can't craft soup right now. We need more resources. Mm. Mm, this cow, I really, I've, I've been holding out. I've been holding out, but I can't, it's just not, it's not panning out for me. This cow thing is not panning out for me. Dude. We need another can of soup. I'm gonna throw out the gun. I just, I really feel like this cow artifact is gonna treat me well. We once, we have once more picked up on a foreign language transmission. It could be important. We can't decode it. We don't have a book. Ah! I just want to survive 30 days. That's my goal as a captain. No! Baby starved to death. It's just me. Can I survive for three more days? I don't know. Baby is still star- oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Items to craft eight, items to recycle three, items to upgrade. Yeah. Am I hungry? I am. I'm not starving though. I have a shovel, so I'm gonna dedicate my shovel to... Um... Voices that are approaching fast. Uh-oh. It's just me and I'm insane and I'm hungry, but I'm tough and vigorous. You know what, Megan? is a trooper and I hope that she can survive for a couple more days so that we can 
We can do her goal as a captain. Two more days. Two more days. We lost the shovel. <gasps> a two-dimensional species invaded our ship. With shovel in hand, you faced a threat. Invisible, invisible yet deadly. Like a rumor on the stock market. You attacked blindly. At first it seemed your sweep slid off thin air, but soon the angry yells changed into squeals. Okay, so it worked. You are in peak physical condition, Captain. Great, but my mental condition is still unstable. <sighs> oh man. Okay, I'm gonna look at what, what I have to do for the day. Captain, there is a blue veiny fruit growing out of a crack in the ground nearby. It is pulsating slightly. Do you wish to eat it? Normally, I'd refrain from leaving such a rash and irresponsible decision up to a human, but there are plenty, but there are some empty stems nearby. Perhaps it is edible. Maybe it'll cure my insanity. You think it's soap? I think it's, yeah, I think we're gonna try it. It's really, it's really, uh, it's, it's, it's risky. It's a risky play, but I'm feeling a little desperate right now. But then again, I just had to survive for two more days. <gasps> Did I make a big mistake? You decided that the big blue fruit near the ship was worth trying. Your face gluttonous with pleasure as you sunk your teeth in before quickly turning to horror. The other half was full of purple wriggling worms. You began trying to spit it out, but fell into a spasm. A Oh, and woke a few minutes later, saying your mind was buzzing as if at double speed. You flipped into a handstand and began permabulating around? Perambulate? Perambulating. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Clearly those worms did something. Let's hope the effects don't return. Should I build a battery? I wish you could build a book. Should I build armor? <clears throat> armor, a battery. I mean, I've, I've been asked for a battery a few times. Yeah, I think you should get the battery. And then also, like, because you have so much of that stuff, you should be crafting every time so that you can just break it down yeah. and get more of the stuff you're doing. Okay. Last time I did this, it didn't go well. Okay, wait, let's see. I'm vigorous. So, eBosun is a network that lets you order pretty much anything online. But I have to jump through a hoop, literally, to be verified in their network. So, I'm gonna try to use my agility. I've got a star by it. Wait. I'm gonna try to use my, but I might get hurt. Oh. I wish I could craft a med kit. You can't craft, like, this game is so unforgiving. Uh, okay. Please. The days are taking a long time to load. Okay. Okay. You touched the floor and quickly sprinted through the e balls and sign up portal. Um, it worked! But wait! Here is your free gift. Your account will be active in one galactic business day or so, even though we got to sign up, one galactic business day is 10 of our lifetimes, so it didn't count. I'm starving, so I have to eat. Apparently, I got a free phone out of it, so maybe I can recycle my phone. I am on to my last can of soup right now. And there's one day remaining before I can craft again. What's going on here? We don't have a book. The book has been super annoying. This cow has not come in handy in Mootopia at all. And I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Eat the cow? I wish I could. I just ate my last Oreo donut and I'm really upset about it. Okay, so I'm still hungry, but I have my atomic battery now. Battery, oh, and it's a thing that's asking for the battery, yes, okay. While exploring in the shuttle's closest vicinity, you realize that what you thought was a rock formulation is actually an ancient dispenser machine, caked with dust and dirt, covered with simple depictions of soup cans. <gasps> it seems to run out of, okay, so I might be able to get soup out of this. Should I craft soup even though I might, I'm, I'm hungry, I, I have to, I have to, but armor. Mask. Tape. 
sock? Hmm. It's asked me for the sock so many times. Should I get the sock? I need to... I'm gonna get the sock because I'm insane. And I'm gonna hope that this battery helps me get soup. Because otherwise, I'm screwed. I'm really nervous. The soup dispensary found nearby was briefly rejuvenated when you connected our battery to an ancient receptacle. It came alive, playing a merry tune, and broke down just a few seconds later. Oh no, it didn't work out, but we have a sock. Oh, we don't have a, we don't even have a sock yet. I'm hungry. Ha oh wait, wait, I can, I can, okay. It's only been 32 days, but I can finally use my Moo Moo Cow. There's something strange in our neighborhood. A space ghost floating towards our boat with a purpose. Are we carrying anything mysterious it might be interested in? Yes, we are. An artifact. This could be our big break. Please! Please! Come on! Okay. The space ghost faced towards you, waving a protoplasmic microphone. You hefted the artifact at it, and it exploded. A lighter lay in the slimy remains. Well done, ma'am. You came, you saw, you kicked gooey ass, and you get a free lighter from it. Great, we can use this to get more food. We have a sock puppet. You remain exceptionally healthy, and you are now starving. Oh, no, 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 I'm selling the Moomoo cow now, but what if I don't live until tomorrow? Oh my god. Ah! Captain, we are receiving a coded transmission of unknown origin. It could be a distress signal, a message of some sort, or pretty much anything else. We don't know until we listen to it. Should I play the transmission? Sure, go ahead. I need soup. I need soup. I'm starving. Please, I need to, I need, I need two days. I need two days before I can feed my girl. I'm in exceptional health. Please don't game over me. Okay, it's day 34. This looks okay. Uh, okay, I, I, I got some, I got some of this stuff. What happened to the transmission? The knowledge, the knowledge that you are not alone out here is enough to make you feel much better mentally at least. Okay, so I'm a little bit less insane. I'm a little unhinged. I'm still facing starvation. You won't survive long if you don't eat something. All I can do right now is craft some soup and hope we're gonna be okay. Can you give her the sock? I can. I never did that. She was singing about starving though, like that poor man died. It's just it's so I know. Oh no, we don't have anything. Oh no. Okay, so right now, um. Malfunctioning body odor removal filter is making a racket. I think it's malfunctioning. Oh my goodness, this is so dire. This is so dire. Ugh. No, 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 no. Okay, we got the soup. I'm still alive. This is okay. This is okay. This is fine. This is fine. Okay, wait, let me see. I can recycle three things. I can craft four things. What can I craft? Can I upgrade? What, what does upgrade cause? Battery. I don't have anyone to send out. This is very bad. Armor? Mate, what, like, would I need armor for something? I don't know. Try. I'm gonna see what happens. Okay, we don't have any of these items. So, uh, we can't fight the storms on this planet, apparently. Alright, next day. Please, please, please. Oh, uh, we are playing 60 parsecs right now. This is an apocalypse survival game in space. Similar to 60 seconds, but it's in space! And it's much, much harder. There's a lot more elements to it. You decided you'll do just fine without any assistance. Given the circumstances, you did a good job of keeping yourself amused. Hopefully the storm will be over soon, and you'll be able to go out for a walk. I hope so too. Terry just keeps walking here every two minutes and goes, Make, Make sure, sure you craft! I know! I'm trying. I don't have I don't have a I don't have this book. Forgetting this book was the biggest mistake I ever made. Awful! I wish I could send my captain out. Yeah. It sucks. 
And I really think that bringing three people was a big mistake. But hey, 37 days, pretty good. I've got armor now. I don't know why I crafted armor, I just did. Yeah. Kind of like a, kind of like a gun every now and then. Okay, so I don't have the resources for soup. I have to trade something in. I'm gonna have to trade in the lighter, I think. Yeah. Because I can't upgrade it. I'm hungry. Hey, I'm no longer insane. Oh, okay. I like that. Let, look at that armor. It looks like pillows. A hovering multicolored cube has appeared outside the shuttle. It's about head high and contains many moving parts. It didn't respond to my hail. I also tried offering it food. Nothing. Capane? I think it's a puzzle. You solve it by moving the pieces so each of the cube's faces show the correct color. I don't know what's at stake if you win or lose. I'm trying it. I'm desperate. I want some clutch stuff, but hey, I survived for 30 days. That was my goal as the captain, and I'm happy about it. But I just really, I really want to get out of here. I really want to survive and win. Okay, so I got my stuff. I'm going to get myself some soup. Um, wait, what happened? You attempted to solve the puzzle, but you gave up. Great. The cube let out a decisive moo. It's very good to know. We are vigorous. We are strong. I recommend a daily regimen of movements that use your own body weight. Great. So this guy is saying we should work out. We can do that. Easy, easy peasy, easy money. We can do that. I hope she'll stay alive to 40. Me too. Me too. One more day. We have a soup. How are you? Starving? Here you go. We're just like, we're... Barely, we barely have enough time to craft soup. We don't have any more resources. Like, can I go outside? M like, maybe, I'm, I'm gonna check. Swamp is poisonous. Okay, that's a no. What is the circle? Okay, yeah, we can't go outside. I thought that that just counted for one lighter. But every time I make a lighter now, I can sell it for 20? Okay. Okay. Um, our systems are working below their optimal levels. I was able to determine that our wiring might be at fault. I suggest you take a look under the proverb proverbial hood and fix the wires before a malfunction appears. Um, intellect isn't working out for me like agility is, so I'm gonna do that. Wait, is she vigorous? She's tough? try that out. Megan is, uh, I, I like, I like Megan. She works hard. She works really, really hard. Okay, so I have a new lighter now. And I'm going to recycle the lighter now. No, Terry, you were wrong about the lighter. You can only sell it for 10. Did I? I gave away my Moo Moo Cow, no! I should have just kept it. This game starves you and makes you get rid of stuff because you don't use it for 40 days and then it asks you for it. Oh no, this could have been like, this could have been it, guys. I, I really, like, this looks good. Like, are you God? They reverberate. For generations, we've been searching for the one who thinks outside the hive. Each jump from planet to planet decimates us. Are you the one? Okay. No cult following for me. I'm mad. <laughs> I'm mad! Is this gonna be one of those games where beating it is just like the craziest thing you could possibly do? Are you starving, girl? You're just hungry. Okay. What? I used my sock too? No! Oh my goodness! I'm gonna make a new so Wait. Maybe they'll ask me again. But I need soup. But I'm only hungry. But I. I'm 
gonna do a Hail Mary. But I'm gonna do a Hail Mary. We'll see. Maybe they'll come back, huh? Maybe they'll come back. Please come back. Please. Okay, you're starving. Gotta make some soup. I don't have any soup. We don't have anything that's required of us. Anything. This game requires you to have every single little thing in your bunker. But you have to use everything to survive. I'm starving. Here you go. This is this is the best you can do. That's the, that's the best I could do. Um. Should I recycle my communicator? It hasn't really come in handy for me. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna wait. We just, we're just eating today. It should be fine. We have no book. Please stop asking. Not bringing the book is the biggest mistake you can make. Restart your run if you play this game, which just came out today, by the way, if you forget the book, because it apparently is the most important thing you could possibly have. I understand that because in 60 seconds, the Boy Scout book was super important, but like, this is really important. It's like every other day. Yesterday we picked up a transmission that's been playing for years, however, since the message was in a foreign language, you weren't able to decode its meaning. Because you didn't have the book. It wants you to have the book again, we don't have the book. Great. Perfect. Can we please, can we please, just day 45. Okay, I'm gonna say, what? You didn't do anything about the rat infestation I discovered yesterday, and just like I predicted, they've overrun the ship, you've been bitten, and you're gonna die. Oh, no. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and craft a lighter, because why not? I don't have a gun. Thanks for asking. Oh, no. Do you want one million money? Why, thank you. Oh, my goodness. I'm gonna die. Wait, I got ten rum? Okay. Just what I needed. Just what I always wanted. I'm gonna recycle my phone. Because you know what? I made my phone and nothing happened. Something is seeping into the shuttle. Well, hopefully it'll cure me. Because you know what? Right now, I'm not doing too good. I'm not doing too good at all. Bring hope back. Come on. Let's have a good day. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Who's this guy? Was this guy here all along? I was giving I was giving up. Did you bring soup, girl? Dee Dee? Oh no. I have to recycle some stuff. Right now. I I need to feed I need to feed myself. I'm starving. Okay. Dee Dee. Dee Dee? Do we want rock? Or do we want more food? I think more food. Oh. It's a little, it's pretty poisonous out here, but you know what? That's fine. I'm gonna send her with the armor. And nothing more, because I might need to recycle these things. Dee Dee is being sent out. And I am recycling so I can make some soup. And what is this? Captain, there are a couple of spacemen having a, a roadside picnic outside. Um, I'm gonna, since it is Mootopia, I'm gonna offer them my Moo Moo Cow and see if they like me. Oh jeez, a murderous. Okay, now I just need one- I know you're starving, but I need one more day to give you some soup. We don't have the book. Please stop asking. It's tilting me. It is frustrating me. Day 49. We've been out here for so long. So, so long. Well, that's unexpected, Captain. There's cheese in the pantry. Okay, I'm not eating this cheese. Because I think it's soap. Because I played this game before, and it was soap. 
Uh, maybe the soap will cure my wounds, though. <laughs> I'm not eating it. Maybe I can use it to, like, clean my wounds, huh? Wouldn't that be nice? I feel like it would. Come on. Day 50. We've been down here for 50 days. You didn't eat the cheese, and this was probably wise, as subsequent chemical analysis proved it was an edible soap. I'm right, I'm learning. This is like 60 seconds, I'm learning. There is a joke in here somewhere about keeping your mouth clean. And okay, can we please, can we, can I wash out my wounds? I have soap. I've got soap. Am I still hungry? I am. Gonna make more soup. And we don't have any of these. <gasps> I sent the armor with the girl and it's a thing that we need. Oh no. That's really bad. That's really, really bad. 51 days down here. A Darwinian predator droid held you in its grip. You cursed the weakness of your human body out loud as you tried to wrestle free. The droid froze, offended. The human body is not weak. It is a wonder of evolution. In a zealous rage, the droid preached about evolution. You edged it closer to the airlock and pushed it out mid-lecture. Okay, I'm safe. But the droid's verdict inspired dark thoughts in your head. Are you fit for survival or are you the weak link? So we, we've got soup, we've got, we've got stuff, we've got great. Gonna get the soup going. She's weak and tired, she's not hungry. <laughs> I am though. So I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat. We received a signal from deep space. It seems to be a pulsar. Okay, how are you? You're okay. I'm gonna send you out. Pulsars are ne neutron stars with an extremely fast rotation. They emit beams of EM radiation that can appear to be intelligent in origin. But this one is intelligent in origin. Do you want to decode its message? Okay, so I'm a lot smarter than she is, I think. Then, Dee, how did you get here, Dee Dee? I don't know. Ooh, we're going through. <laughs> I know this is this is this game is hard and it takes a while, okay? It takes a while for you to know what's gonna happen next. We got a gun and we got a soup. What? Okay, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm gonna craft more soup. Am I insane? No, I'm okay. I'm just hurt. Captain, there's been this constant interference in our comms as of late, like musical notes playing on repeat. It's starting to become annoying. You could do something about it, but it might just stop working if we keep ignoring it. Who should deal with this? You know what? I've been doing all the heavy lifting. You take it. You take this one, okay, girl? Take it. If I was playing this game, I'd be so frustrated. Oh! It's a toughie! It's a doozy! Okay, I am insane. Who is this guy? He's freaking me out. Uh, I can feed her today and send her out. But she's weak, hungry, and insane. So I kind of just want to send her out. <laughs> I'm going to send her out. Then they just really? Yeah. What do you have that... Okay, I'm going to feed her and send her out. Do you have any... Like, do you have any... I'm sending her to the cave. Um, oh, I don't have a lighter. Should I send her with the armor? She came back pretty quick when I sent her with the armor. But maybe that was just luck. I don't know. We're going to try it again. Actually, I'm not going to send her with the armor because I might want to recycle it. I'm just going to send her out see what happens. Me neither. We'll find out, I guess. Um, I have no resources. I can recycle five of my things. I guess I'm just going to check what we have to do today. Oh, I, I gotta feed these two, right? Should I feed both of them? Yeah, I'm going to. The Soviets! They're back! They're all over the shuttle. We cannot allow co communism to get a foothold here in an Astro Citizen vessel. Prepare for a fight. We gotta be fast. Because we are tough. Wait, should huh. we be? Maybe we should be strong. I'm gonna be strong. Okay, we're gonna be fast. We're gonna be fast, because it's the only one with a tick. What did I miss? Just got out of the dentist. It's been 50 days of trying to survive in space. 54 days. Okay. Um, 
We're the victors. That's great. We scared away the commies. That's nice. Um, we don't have any of these supplies. That's horrible. The walls are in, closing in. You're growing paranoid. You're having constant invasive thoughts of going outside. Even though you'd probably die. Someone has to tell you, Captain. You have cabin. I mean, shuttle fever. The good news is, this is normal. Claustrophobia is inevitable in this situation. The bad news? The only cure is to find a way to entertain yourself. What do you do? Nothing! Do you like insanity, girl? Because it's coming. It's coming for you again. I'm gonna use my gun. Right? No, I'm gonna use my... The gun or the thingy or the dinghy or the battery. No one's been asking me for batteries. It's, it's such a coin toss. It's such a coin toss. Um... I can't believe you only get 10 of the juice for my beautiful upgraded armor. I'm gonna do the gun for you. All right, see what happens. Who confuses soap for cheese? I mean, sometimes cheese can look like soap, you never know. Speaking of cheese, I have a little. Here, wait. Okay, I'm hurt? What happened? You are in poor health, Captain. You look weak. You didn't try to, sh to cure your shuttle fever and instead chose to wait it out. But this affliction is caused by waiting it out. So you made it worse. You had a fist fight. With yourself. No! What? Hmm? Oh no. Oh, we don't have a map. I could have made one! <sighs> this shiny cow is going to be the death of me. It really is. Wait, am I insane? No, I'm just hungry. Oh, please, I'm slowly working through all my stuff. This is horrible. This is terrible. Is my girl gonna come back? Please. Come on, girl. It's been three days. Get back here. Get in. Day 56? Okay, we got a soup. All we can do is eat it. Um... Oh, we can't craft anything. Gonna, I'm just gonna have to start selling off all my stuff. I have no choice. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I have no, I have no, you starved. This is like Monopoly. Yeah. This is like Monopoly when you, you get Boardwalk, you get Park Place, and you just go pay up everyone. Slowly but surely. Slow, painful death. That's 60 parsecs. We love. Wait, achievement progress, bovine domain? What is this? Oh, she came back. She's insane, but she came back. She brought 33 rocks. Okay. Okay. That's cool. I like that. That's nice. I wish you could craft two things at once. This is so frustrating. Ah! I, we need soup. We need lots of soup. Something has infected Backy, my backup AI module. Perhaps it's interference from somewhere. Okay, let's get the smart person to fix that issue. Ooh, ooh this is so, this, this game is, it's demoralizing. It makes you feel bad. even for one of these I guess we're, we're gonna have to craft something so we can sell more resources maybe maybe yeah I'm gonna make a duct tape and sell it that's all we can do you know what it's been asking me for a gas mask so much that I'm just gonna quickly make a gas mask maybe and then I can sell yes Oh, please, please, 60 parsecs, be nicer to me. Day 59, no! How did we die? Your injuries proved lethal. In 59 days, we never had a single opportunity to get a med kit. You can't craft one. We had no opportunities to find one. 
Dee is dead as what we're all dead. That's a nice, nice full bunker of skeletons. You perished. Day survived 59. A 59 day streak in 60 seconds would be a really good one. But hey, look. Soup consumed 27. First aid kits used one, and then the game was over. Sock puppets used one. That was nice. Successful expeditions, four out of four. Locations discovered, four out of 12. We this is actually a pretty good run. Items brought from expeditions, zero. Items crafted, 24. Items upgraded, one, and items recycled, 10. We're gonna end our adventure here. Oh my goodness, this game. Let me know, guys. What do you think? What do you think of 60 parsecs? I'd really love to know. Sure. I'm trying to look at the super chats that you guys sent me because for some reason my thingy isn't working. You good? <laughs> That's good. You like it? Do you do you <laughs> Do you like 60 seconds better or do you like 60 parsecs better? And why or why not? It's so complex, Cassie. I know, Mori, it's so complex. And thank you for modding, by the way. Thank you to Keith as well. I saw you in there. gameplay of 60 seconds for you guys or not 60 seconds 60 parsecs for you guys and um i decided to stream instead because the first time i played it i didn't know what was going on and i wanted you guys i i wanted better for you guys so i was hoping that me coming into the stream having played it two times i think so far i thought that that would help wacky jackie thank you so much for the super chat 499 i'm glad that you like my hair it's a little, it's a little red but we're getting used to it Alexa Prudholm, thank you so much for the super chat. One dollar. Tristan McKenzie, thank you so much for the super chat. This is one of my first streams, so I'm glad to have you here. Glitter Unicorn Poop, I love you too. Silver's Time, thank you for saying that I'm a good YouTuber. I really appreciate it. Purple nice. Turtle Adventures, thank you so much for the super chat. Fifty dollars, that is just insane. You're starting your own YouTube channel doing a mix of things, and you hope you can be as su successful as me one day. We'll just make stuff that you like and make stuff that you feel like people would be happy to find. That's a good and point. Don't stress so much. Jeez, oh, what are you doing? We're just telling you. Okay. Don't stress so much about um, like algorithms and like numbers, games and stuff like that. Don't stress about that kind of stuff. Because I find that just uploading stuff that you're proud of works better. But that's just my experience. Everybody's different. Some people find that they do have to upload every day. Just figure out who you are and the best delivery system of that that can resonate with people. And your YouTube channel will be great. Um, Debbie Bird, thank you so much for the super chat. Five dollars. Wacky Jackie, thank you so much for the super chat. And thank you. Great job of picking the group. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Silver's Time, thank you so much for the super chat. Four, nine, four pounds and 99 cents. Please don't pull that down again. I'm sitting cross-legged and I'm wearing a dress. <laughs> Wacky Jackie says, hi, Terry. Hi. Unicorn Lol Girl 26, you are noticed. Thank you so much for the super chat. Ryan Venn, thank you so much for... Uh, I recognize your name. Thanks for coming back. And thank you for the super chat. Maddie Weber, thank you so much for the super chat. Megan, the pug lover, thank you so much for the super chat. 1999. I love you too. I won't forget you. And uh, <laughs> your friend Emily Pug said hi. Hello. Also your friend Serena Pug. You're all pugs, huh? <laughs> Theta Comadness, thank you. Uh, 24, thank you so much for the super chat. 99 cents. Hey, it's London. Thank you so much for the super chat. And thank you for the love. Purple Turtle Adventures, you've been so nice today. I love you too. Have fun at your interview. I hope it does well. I mean, you're probably gone by now because you left the super chat and you're like, I have an interview. Um, hey, it's London. Thank you so much for the super chat. <laughs> Don't send all your mom's money. Kate Luthy, thank you so much for the super chat. I will have a good day. I hope you're having a good day as well. 
France, thank you so much for the super chat. Two dollars. I'm a broke boy. Well, I really, really appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Jose or Josie or Jose, thank you so much for the sponsorship. It's Izzy Chu. Thank you so much for the super chat. Ten dollars. Hi, Gloom. Love your videos. And Gloom, are you still going to play Yandere Simulator? I'm going to play Yandere Simulator when I... Sorry, you guys are like telling me to speak louder. I'm going to play Yandere Simulator when they come up with an update that I like. Um, I found a lot of the updates for a long time to be very underwhelming. And I understand that um, a lot of those updates are to prepare the game for the bigger picture. Um, but I'm more interested in playing updates that I can like build a story out of and like have a lot of fun making a video like that. So um, not until maybe like when Osana comes out. I'll hit that up, but for now, I'm just gonna wait. Charbar SS, thank you so much for the super chat, $1.99. And <laughs> thank you for the kind words. I appreciate it very much. Kevin Mary, thank you so much for the super chat. Thanks for the stream here. We thank you for showing up, and thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Violet Raven, thank you so much for the super chat. My dog makes strange noises while eating peanut butter. I think all dogs do. H. Lenny, thank you so much for the super chat. Hey, Gloom, just got here. This is unrelated to the game, but your hair looks so good. Thank you. I appreciate that. Megan the Pug Lover, thank you so much for all of the super chats today. I really appreciate it, and I hope that you have an amazing night. Violent Raven, my dog also likes to bite his toenails. Your dog is the cutest muffin. Well, I mean, I wish that my dog could cut his own toenails because they grow really long and you got to take him to the vet. Violet, well, or you could get Terry to cut him, but I feel like Twinkie doesn't like when Terry does it. He gets less mad when, like, an authority figure does it than when Terry does it. Violet Raven, thank you so much for the super chat. Does your dog like to eat sand? No, Twinkie doesn't like to eat anything out of the ordinary. He mostly likes, like, cheese and stuff. The Thoughtful Papaya, thank you so much for stopping by the stream today. Uh, how much does it cost to be a sponsor? I think, like, $4.99. Ah, yeah. Is that Capo or Henzo? Henzo. He needs it. He does. You keep bringing the antisocial cat, not I'm the nice cat. The Debbie Bird, thank you so much for showing by for showing by <laughs> at the stream today. And Emily Pate. I came in and everyone was dead. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> thank you for the thank you for coming to the stream, guys. Thank you for the support. I hope that you guys liked this gameplay. Like I said before, um, I really wanted to upload a great gameplay for you guys but this game is so complicated that i i felt like a stream where i know the game a little bit better would be better i i don't have a cat um these are actually my brother's cats they're just hanging out here they're hanging out here for today they're they're good friends with well at least one of them is really good friends with twink like they sleep together and stuff capo is good friends with twink but henzo is not um eat all of the kitties I mean, I wanted to eat at least a few of them. I was running low on soup for a while there. Kate and Kara in chat, thank you so much for coming to the stream today. Nice stream, you're fun. <laughs> thank you so much to everybody who came to the stream today. Thank you so much to my moderators for moderating the chat and keeping it a kind and positive place. I hope you guys enjoyed 60 parsecs. Um, I, I really want... <laughs> I really want to get better at it. I really want to beat it because it looks like it, it's the kind of game that feels like a feat to beat. And uh, games like that excite me. Brian Venn, thank you so much for another super chat. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for stopping by. Don't eat cats. Fine. I was going to, though. I hope you guys enjoy the stream. I love you guys so much. I'm going to be uploading again very soon. Um, this weekend, I have a thing that I have to go to, so it might um, it might delay uploads a bit again, but I promise I'm going to be uploading stuff that, I, that I'm proud of. Um, I'm not in the habit of, uh, you know, wasting you guys' time. So, hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Hope you guys enjoy the videos that are coming. Thank you so much for the support. And uh, Terry has something to say. Yeah, I just wanted to come. Put your head in the... Well, oh yeah, sorry. Uh, how stupid of me. I just wanted to let you guys know how much 